Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie, and this is Jailbreak. And many of you know that I've been working on a Toyota 4Runner build for about a month and a half. And some of the main things that I did was suspension. I modified it slightly. And with those modifications came front wheel and four wheel alignments. And with those came zero point calibration code lights. And I had to fix them. And I'm going to show you how to fix them using these. It takes about 10 minutes and it clears it for good. So if you want to see how I did this, you're going to want to sit back, you're going to want to relax, and you're going to want to check this out. <laughs> So I'm in the final stage of my build right now. The only thing left to do is the supercharger. And in order to put the supercharger in, I can't have any dash warning lights on whatsoever at all. So I bring the truck to the alignment shop, not once, but twice. The second time, he still didn't nail it because I ended up having a code, a C1290. Everyone knows that code. And this guy didn't know how to fix it, so I took it upon myself and I filmed it, so I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Driving home from the front end alignment shop, I noticed the little icon right next to my big fat hand. When I was driving straight, it was still showing my tires as turned slightly to passenger, so I knew I needed to do a zero point calibration, and that's what I did. The first thing I did was remove the positive and negative from my battery terminals and left it that way for five minutes. Just disconnect both battery terminals and walk away. Give it five minutes. So after five minutes has elapsed, put your positive and negatives back on. Reconnect them to the battery. Now under the driver's steering wheel, usually locate your OBD port. Check your owner's manual or Google it. Now grab two paper clips and bend them just like I'm showing you right here. My stepmother turned the house upside down yesterday trying to find two of these for me, but she did. Now on your OBD port, you're going to look for TS and CG. Usually it's the one, two, three, fourth over from the left. In my specific vehicle, 2019 TRD Pro, it was the fifth over from the left. TS and CG, chassis ground and terminal supply, I believe. Once you locate these, you're going to slide a paper clip into each one of these. So it should look just like this. Have one of the paper clips pointing in one direction, one pointing in the other direction, but not touching each other. So once you have that done, you're going to put the key in the ignition and turn it to the on position, but don't start the truck. Make sure your front tires are perfectly straight and your steering wheel is perfectly straight. With the ignition turned on, tap the two paper clips together six times. Now you'll see your ABS and VSC light flashing rapidly, but they won't be in sync. That means it's clearing it and it'll be ready to relearn or ready to recalibrate after this. So watch the lights. Watch the lights. See that? That means I did it correctly and now it's ready to recalibrate. So now you want to turn the key off. 
So to recalibrate, hold the two paper clips together and turn the key to the on position again. Now both of your ABS and your VSC lights will be flashing at the same time rapidly. When you see this, you've done it. You're recalibrated, you're good to go. Now all that's left to do is to pull out the paper clips and your code will be cleared and then take the truck for a drive for about 10 seconds at at least 25 to 30 miles an hour in a straight line and you're good to go. I'm going to be doing a supercharger install series that's going to show you every single solitary step to installing a Magnuson supercharger in a 5th gen Toyota. That video series will be starting later this week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and I will try to return the favor. I am out.